That's one of the Motown legend Marvin Gaye's greatest hits, Sexual Healing. It was recorded in Belgium back in 1981. And now here we are more than 40 years later and fans could soon hear more tracks that Marvin Gaye recorded right around that same time. This after a, a trove of unreleased music and other memorabilia were found in Belgium. Now, Gay left the cassette tapes to a fellow musician he'd been living with there while recovering from drug addiction back in the early 80s. And the tapes are now in the possession of that man's family, raising major legal questions about who really owns the tapes and the music. And we're joined by Alex Trampaneers right now. Alex, a lawyer and a business partner of the family in possession of the tapes. We, thank you for coming on. I mean, this is a fascinating story in many ways. Let me just start with the music itself before I dig into the legal side of it. I mean, you've heard it, right? Is there, there there's some hits in here? I mean, what what is it? Well, um, what is amazing is that um, the, the last album that Marvin recorded was in Belgium. And at that time, he was at the height of his... Uh, artistic powers because uh, he only had a few things which what he recorded he had a microphone a little drum machine hmm. and he created the best song he ever made sexual healing he got his only two Grammys um, and on the tapes are 13 hours of his music recording oh. in the two in the almost two years he lived in Belgium uh, and I, I started counting I, I, I think I have about 66 demos of unheard music wow. written recorded by Marvin Gaye. And obviously if it's by Marvin Gaye, there could be some real hit songs in there. There could be some real value there. Let me talk about who owns it. What's the argument? Well, the goods are the property of the family. Uh, Marvin Gaye, when he left the house in a mess, he said, I apologize for the mess I'm leaving. I'm going back to the US. Huh. The goods, um, they're yours and you can decide whatever you want with it. The tapes is another story. Um, uh, I'm, I'm right for the moment I'm talking with the lawyer of two children of Marvin Gaye. Right. Uh, because we're trying to find a win-win situation, uh, what to do with these tapes. We own the property of the tapes, but the tapes can't be exploited or released uh, without the permission of the heirs uh, of From Marvin Gaye. State, right? So they have a claim on this, then? And that's how the law works there, too? And they have a claim on it? Yeah, absolutely. If we come to an agreement, then I think we can bring Marvin Gaye back alive. Wasn't that amazing? You know, uh, this is not the first time we've seen legal battles. Here in the U.S., we saw it over Marvin Gaye's music. Uh, back in 2018, it was the Pharrell Williams Robin Thicke um, infringed on copyright on Got to Give It Up. They were ordered to pay, right? They ordered to pay $5 million. And then it was the Ed Sheeran. There you see Ed Sheeran 2023 who won the, uh, the copyright infringement case and let's get it on. So it's happened before. But in this case, it's, I'm, I'm interested that you're saying, no, 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 we're trying to resolve this. We're, try, we're trying to settle this. So you want to Absolutely. avoid any kind of litigation, that kind of thing. Absolutely. There's a moral side on this also. I, I, would, I would love to work with uh, the family of Marvin Gaye because I haven't released it. I said I have it. We have these 13 hours and we have 216 documents. And 216 documents means new lyrics, diary, his diary. Wow. The poetry he wrote, drawings he made, and I just want to talk with the family. Probably will give them, hand them over, and said. And you haven't talked to them yet at all, or? Yes, I have. But okay. I'm, I'm talking to the lawyer, and we agreed not to disclose or say anything about it because we want to give it a chance. Uh, how to come to some kind of package deal? I hope huh. on what the destination will be of of. of what we found. That would be really interesting. We'll follow this. We'll follow this. By the way, any, I don't know, maybe if you're the best judge of it, you might be. There are hit songs in here probably, right? Did you, do you think? Uh, absolutely. Wow. Um, I think three or four. You start listening and it's in your head all day. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.